I purchased with my own money. I'm going to be completely honest. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Hello, Anyang, this is Yuhi from One Eye Beauty, the place to find out all the Korean beauty info in One Eye. Do you like the Korean skincare brand Beauty of Joseon? Beauty of Joseon has now hit over $200 million in sales. Their brand philosophy, modern Korean hanbang skincare brand, meaning that their signature skincare ingredients are Korean traditional herbal medicine ingredients reflect really well in their products branding and packaging, which all led this brand to a great success. In today's video, I'll be giving you an honest review of the products I've used from Beauty of Joseon, categorizing them into great, so-so, and bad, a bit disappointing ones. So without further ado, let's get this going. Before we kickstart, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to show some love and support. Come that. thank you so much. start let me explain to you how I've categorized these products so the great products are the ones I've enjoyed so much that I'd be buying again again and again and the so-so products are the ones which I would happily use once but will not be purchasing again and the bad products are the ones obviously I wouldn't be buying ever again yeah so all of these products I'll be showing in today's video are the ones I purchased with my own money. It's not sponsored, therefore I'm going to be completely honest. Yeah. And the first great product I want to show you from Beauty of Joseon is this one over here, Ginseng Cleansing Oil. Sorry that I've got a completely empty bottle. <laughs> But obviously shows you that I really enjoy using this. I have done a full video on just this product previously, comparing this product with other best-selling Western and Japanese brand cleansing oils, which is so far my second best performing video. This is a lightweight cleansing oil with 50% soybean oil and 0.1% ginseng seed oil. Ginseng is full of goodness, it's antioxidant, boosts hydration, helps to reduce fine lines, the list goes on. But the downside of ginseng usually is its smell. It can be quite strong and unpleasant. However though, in this cleansing oil, you won't get that at all. It has a very subtle smell of ginseng, which is actually quite pleasant. The only downside of this cleansing oil is that it doesn't remove a stubborn makeup very well. It removes all the dirt, impurities and sebum really well but in my personal experience this didn't remove my stubborn waterproof mascara very well. However though one of my subscribers she mentioned that this removes her makeup really well so maybe it's just me the products I'm using so after all maybe this works well in removing everything yeah. As you can see, this is a completely empty bottle and the reason why I didn't purchase another bottle is because as a content creator, I am currently testing another cleansing oils which deserve more attention. So if I wasn't a content creator, I'll be purchasing just this one again and again. It's a really nourishing cleansing oil that gives you a boost of ginseng massage whilst cleansing at the same time. It's, it's a great cleansing oil. Next great product I want to show you from Beauty of Joseon is this one over here, Dynacity Cream. I have done a shorts video on this showing you unboxing my third tub of this cream and I also featured this in my Holy Grail Korean skincare products that I'll use forever video. This was actually one of the very first products Beauty of Joseon has released and captured attention from the Western market. But it seems like that the attention this cream had has been stolen by other products, which is also great other products. I don't disagree, but this cream is out of this world. Recently, my favorite skincare channel, Pampered Wolf, she has done a video on top six Beauty of Joseon products and she has mentioned this cream as out of this world as well. So I was really glad to hear that as this cream totally deserves more attention. This cream is enriched with nourishing hanbang skincare ingredients such as 5% ginseng root extract, 2% niacinamide, 29% rice bran water and 2% squalene. I've mentioned in my pore cleansing video that squalene helps reduce the appearance of your pore size so all the ingredients in this cream 
ticks in so many ways. Moisture, brightening, skin tightening, as, and anti-aging. This is a really well-balanced and divine cream that feels luxury but inexpensive. A truly amazing cream from Beauty of Joseon. Next best Beauty of Joseon product is this one over here, Radiance Cleansing Balm. This is a really pleasant texture and it does its job really well. It's a highly effective cleansing balm that removes all the dirt, impurities and even stubborn eye makeup. This product reminds me of another really effective cleansing balm from Hamish, Hamish All Clean Balm. I have featured that product in my Stylevana Media 2023 winners video as it has won in the cleansing category. Now this balm is in my opinion, very similar to that balm, but the Hamish one has aroma oil in it, so it's got a bit of fragrance, but this product is fragrance free. And this also has skin benefiting ingredients such as rice bran water, which is a well known ingredient for skin brightening and moisture. This balm comes with a spatula, you can scrape it out like this and gently roll it with your fingertips. Then the balm turns into an oily texture similar to a cleansing oil. Apply this to your skin and massage all over gently to melt your makeup. It has no fragrance or essential oil so it will be suitable for any skin types. Next best product from Beauty of Joseon is this one over here, Revive Eye Serum with Ginseng and Retinol. I have mentioned this eye cream multiple times in my previous videos. This was featured as my number one product from Best of Beauty of Joseon Shorts and also featured in my Style Vana Media 2023 winning video as this has won in the Best Eye Cream category. This is a highly nourishing and well-formulated eye serum that contains 10% of ginseng root extract and vitamin A, which is retinol. They're both great ingredients for anti-aging and retinol is more potent than retinol, meaning that it's 10 times more effective than retinol. This eye cream feels silky and not too lightweight, so it doesn't get into your eyes. It has a just right texture. It feels smooth and nourishing, but just be aware that it's 2% of retinol liposome can irritate those of you with sensitive skin. So I'd recommend for you to introduce to your skin slowly. Now we have to talk about Beauty of Joseon serums. I have got here their mini discovery kit and have also done a short on reviewing all of their four serums in my own top to bottom ranking. In today's video, I will show you my top Beauty of Joseon serums in a random order. The first one is the Glow Serum. So many skin fluents love this serum, including Kelly Driscoll, and I think it totally deserves its popularity. This contains 60% of propolis and 2% niacinamide. It's great for acne prone skin types, dry skin types, dull skin, aged skin. It's truly a multifunctional serum. This is Beauty of Joseon's most thick serum, so personally as a dry skin type, this has the best texture out of all four serums. Next best serum I want to talk to you about is this one over here, their Calming Serum. Not many skin influencers talk about this Calming Serum here. I think this totally deserves more attention. Whenever my skin is feeling tired and sensitive, I always reach out for this serum. Like its name, Calming, it really helps to calm and soothe my skin. This serum contains 50% green tea leaf water, 30% mugwort extract, and 5% pantheon. It's great for moisture, anti-aging, brightening, and skin calming. The next best serum is this one over here, the Revive Serum. This is a ginseng serum. It's great for anti-aging, so I would recommend this serum for mature skin types. This contains 63% of ginseng root water and 3% snail mucin. It's great for anti-aging and hydration. It really feels deeply nourishing. Now moving on to my so, so Beauty of Joseon product list. And my first so, so product for Beauty of Joseon is this one over here, ginseng essence water. I can hear you guys hating me for this, yeah? What is she talking about? This is like one of my best products, yeah? What is she saying? Okay, okay, I get it guys. This product contains Beauty of Joseon's signature Hanbang skincare ingredient, a whopping 80% of ginseng root water to revitalize dry skin and control sebum level. So it's great for 
acne prone skin types as well as dry skin types. Along with 80% of ginseng root water, it contains niacinamide, my absolute favorite ingredient for anti-aging. Plus this has hyaluronic acid, which is a very hydrating ingredient. I agree that this has so many skin benefiting ingredients, but why is this not hydrating enough on my skin, huh? And K-Beauty skincare products concentrate so much on hydration. There are so many better ones out there and I don't think this is enough to compete with those products. To be honest with you, I was actually going to add this to my last like bad disappointed list, but I've decided to add this into my so-so list instead because so many people love this product, I know. And I previously done some videos showing you my honest opinion on my viral products that I did not like and I have gained so many haters, yeah? Not everyone can like me, I agree, but I just gotta be honest with you, this one is my so-so product. On my dry skin, this one is just not hydrating enough, so. Another product I have to recycle to my hubby. <laughs> And my next so-so product from Beauty of Joseon is this one over here. Relief Sun Rising Probiotic Sunscreen. I can hear so many haters once again. How can this be in your so-so list? This should be the best one of Beauty of Joseon, yeah? This is a lightweight chemical sunscreen that has recently won Star of Anna Media Awards 2023. And I did mention in my video that this deserves its winning position as this is a safe and flawless option for anyone and everyone. It's fragrance-free, moisturizing, and doesn't leave any white cast. It's really well formulated with 30% of rice extract and niacinamide. Unless your skin reacts to niacinamide, this is a gentle and comfortable daily sunscreen with dewy finish. The reason I've added this into the so-so category is because I'll happily use this once, but I won't be purchasing it again. That is because there are so many better Korean sunscreens now. Korean sunscreens have evolved a lot, so there are like outstanding chemical sunscreens out there. To name a few, Round Lamp Burst Juice Moisturizing Sun Cream, Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Hyru Sika Water Fit Sun Serum, a unique Centella Calming Daily Sunscreen, Number Zen Number One Clear Filter Sun Essence, Compared to these outstanding sunscreens, this has now fallen into like an average sunscreen in my opinion. Now the last so-so product is one serum I haven't mentioned in the best category and that is this one over here, the Glow Deep Serum. I understand that this can be another controversial one as there are so many people out there who love this as a brightening serum. This serum contains 68.6% of rice bran water and 2% abutin which are both great for skin brightening and fading hyperpigmentation. I just find this serum too watery and not hydrating enough on my dry skin. It doesn't really feel like serum but it feels more like a toner to me. And I don't think I've given it enough time to see like the result, the brightening result basically. Because I don't like the texture, I just don't feel that it's enough as a serum. That's the reason why this is in a so-so category but I understand many people still like this so don't hate me too much guys. Now moving on to the bad disappointed category. This is probably where I'll get the most haters, yeah? <sighs> Take a deep breath. Okay, the product that disappointed me is this one over here. Matte Sunstick with Mugwort and Camellia. This product is developed with Raymond, an influencer and cosmetic chemist. And I'm really sorry to Raymond and Beauty of Joseon, but I really don't understand this product. I mean, sun sticks are meant to be best for reapplication, and this is what Beauty of Joseon claims. We developed a sun stick with a matte formula that doesn't get clumpy or feel sticky or greasy even when reapplied several times over makeup. Okay, this is definitely not greasy because it's so dry and so matte. And this is impossible to apply on top of the makeup because it simply doesn't glide. It is so dry and it smudges everything. If you check out how this glides on my arm, you can see how this is so stiff and it leaves all these little bits. You can imagine what this will be like on my face with makeup, yeah? 
To me, as though this is created to dehydrate my skin and there are so many better sunsticks out there like from Goodle, Abib and Round Lab and so on. But this does contain all skin benefiting ingredients, silica powder, which is good for controlling sebum. So oily and combo skin types seem to like this sunstick. Next time in my Beauty with Joseon product review video, I'll go through their products with a oily and combo skin type guest and we might come up with a different point of view. So make sure you subscribe and hit the alarm button to not miss out. My next disappointing product from Beauty of Joseon is this one over here, Ginseng Moist Sun Serum. I was actually really looking forward to this product as it is a sun serum and, and it contains the word moist. Even though this is created for oily and combo skin types, I mean the word like moist and it's a sun serum, it must be good for dry skin types as well, yeah? This contains 2% of niacinamide and essential oils and infused with 30% of ginseng extract and has a lightweight gel-like texture. It has a shiny and dewy finish which dry skin types would like and has absolutely no white cast. It all sounds great for dry skin types as well, but what is the problem? The problem is that it does give a dewy and shiny finish on the outside, but on the inside it feels really dry and tight and this stings my skin. It stings so bad that I want to just wash off my whole Phase. I've tried it multiple times just to test that it's not only applied on my skin where my skin is feeling like tired and sensitive but every time I used it it stung my skin I do not know why and it feels a bit greasy but dry at the same time I just I just don't understand this I feel that I'm much more fond of Beauty of Joseon's older products such as Dynasty Cream and their serums rather than their newly released products. Please let me know if you have different opinion on Beauty of Joseon products. I'd love to hear from you all. If you're interested in shopping for any of the Beauty of Joseon products I've mentioned in today's video, all the shopping links will be down at the information section below, so go and check them out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next Korean beauty video. Annyeong!